And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. Welcome, 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 folks. It's time to talk residential real estate all across the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. We've got up-to-the-moment market data to share with you. We have inside scoop to share with you on buying and selling. We also want to help you enjoy your home, even if you're not buying, selling, or investing at the moment. But hey, guess what? It's back to school. It's back to school, he says. But most of you are thinking, no, it's not. We're just roll- we're just getting into summer. So we're going to talk about why back to school is already relevant for real estate in Dallas-Fort Worth, whether you're a buyer, a seller, an investor, or simply a homeowner. We'll get into that as we make our way through the show. We'll take your questions, as always, 214-310-0008. If you're a listener to the show and you tune in from time to time and you have questions rattling around in your mind, but you have never sent them to us, we want you to know that we do the show for you. We do the show so that we can be an advocate for you. Obviously, we do the show to pick up some clients uh, when it's the right fit. When it's not the right fit, that's okay too. But we are here to be a voice of reason, a source of clarity for you as you navigate what you're doing with buying, selling, borrowing, improving, remodeling, moving, and uh, investing in all those things. So if you have a question about real estate, all you need to do is get out your cell phone, call or text 214 310 Zero 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 eight, or you can go online to toddtremontiteam.com. You can just Google my name, Todd Tremonti. You can see over 700 reviews for the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, all those things. But you should not be shy. If you want to ask us a real estate question at all of any kind, call or text 214-310-0008. And there's a very good chance you get to be on the phone, live, 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 and direct with the English wonder himself, the Yanni Donnie, Ian Daniels. Hey. There he is. There he is in all of his joy and celebratory energy, folks. Uh, but 214-310-0008 will often get you to E and sometimes others on our team to help you with any of your residential real estate needs. Uh, this first segment is brought to you, as always, by Patrick Glorios and his team at Cardinal Financial. Uh, if you're looking to get a mortgage, if you're looking to refinance, maybe you want to get a rental property, secondary home patrickgleros.com is where you need to go you can start an application right there on his website you can give him a call at 972-728-3420 nmls number 308-804 and you can go to toddtramoneyteam.com click the radio tab and you can find all the recommended pros and vendors right there let me just quickly update everybody uh whether you're catching us on the podcast or the live radio show Um, You need to know what your home is worth. If you own a home, whether it's your primary residence or an investment property, you need to know what it's worth. Um, You don't have to know minute by minute, day to day, even though values really do change at that frequency. But you need to know on a monthly basis or so, right? A lot like a retirement portfolio where somebody would get a monthly statement or a report or at least glance at the value of their mutual fund or their portfolio or their stock holdings or their bond holdings or whatever the case is. You need to evaluate or just take a glance at your property value on a monthly basis. Now, I could give you hundreds of reasons why that would be relevant, whether you're borrowing for something else or investing in something else or balancing your portfolio, saving for college, saving for retirement, uh, paying something off, investing in something else. But as you think about your overall financial picture and how you provide for and protect and save yourself, your family, your friends, others, your home is that important. So you don't need to spend hundreds of hours changing spreadsheets and things like that, but you need to know what your property is worth, all your properties, if you have more than one. And we have a tool that we have gone out and found, uh, a new and improved one that you can use on our website 100% for free. You don't have to put in a credit card or anything like that. You just go to toddtremonteteam.com. You click the sellers tab or the home valuation tab. You can find out what your home would sell for right now. You can find out what your home equity amount is. You can find out trending data. Is that number going up? Is it flat? Has it been going down? You can find out what somebody would offer you for your home right now all cash. You could find out what your home would sell for out on the open market. You could find out how much you could net walk away with if you were to sell your home all cash or on the open market. And you can do all of this in literally under a minute 
All that happens at TodTremonteTeam.com. Just click that home valuations tab or the sellers tab. You can see all of our national endorsements for people like Barbara Corcoran and Sean Hannity and all of our local endorsements from radio DJs and over 700 reviews from past clients and all those things online at TodTremonteTeam.com. I'm not saying that solely so you could hire us. We're, we would love to earn your business if we're the right fit for each other, but there are a lot of really valuable resources there for you if you are someone thinking about your real estate goals or your real estate assets, go to TodtramoneyTeam.com, search every home from every agent and all of DFW, plus all those other tools are there, TodtramoneyTeam.com. What do people need to know about the next few weeks? You know, we have school going back. I know Plano goes back second week of August. So, mm -hmm. you know, that second to third week of August, almost all the schools be back. What do folks need to know, need to be thinking about as they are contemplating specifically here selling their home? Let me let me give you a quick answer, but first let's go to Full Price Courtney, producer Courtney, live mic, and ask her what comes to mind when you hear us talking about back to school? I mean, I'm just more focused on uh, getting back into a routine and prepping my like, kids. Like you're hearing this early, mid-July, good or bad that you're hearing us talk about back it to school. It makes me feel anxious. Right. So thank you for that. That's my point. M most of us are not ready for back to school. Like it's that's no, no, we have lots to do. We have lots of summer left before we do back to school. I don't want to think about back to school shopping and books and schedules and drop offs and pickups and all the fall things that come. Right. But the reason we are talking about that already on a real estate radio show is because in the real estate market, if you're a regular listener, you already know this. Things operate 30 to 45 days lagging, meaning if you want to buy and move into a home in September, we should be talking about that in July. Give yourselves, you know, two to four weeks of wiggle room and then four to six weeks of transactional timeline to get that done. So Ian's question about if I was thinking about selling, why talk to me about back to school and how that's relevant right now? Well, it's, if you were to put your house, if you were to call us today, call the Tatra Money Home Sun team, 214-310-0008. And you were to say, Hey, I'm ready to sell my house. Can I meet with someone on your team? We would then schedule a time for you to sit down with the, uh, our team member. We might be on a little bit of a waiting list right now. I'm not exactly sure exactly what our waiting list looks like right now, but probably in the next week or two, you would sit down with someone on our team. There's a very good chance that you would then be able to be on the market in the next week or two after that. Well, we're already two to four weeks out and that's a responsible timeline. You don't wanna just rush onto the market without prep and strategy. And so now you're already back to school. You're talking about going on to the mar market right before, during or right after the two to three week period where North Texas is collectively gonna feel like this is that time of year where it's a thousand degrees outside in August and the stores are selling school supplies and school clothes. You know, it's, it's the theme of life, whether you have children or have children in school or not, it's sort of that back to school. People are adjusting to the school zones being back on and all that stuff. That is still five or six weeks out, three, four, five, six weeks out, depending on where you're at school. But when we're talking about that now, because real estate decisions you would make today will be heavily impacted by that. There's no other season in DFW real estate that actually is as predictably impacted by something than back to school. Uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, holiday time, we have about a week cumulative of kind of slowdown in the market. Back to school, we have a two to four week period. So we, almost always right around three weeks. COVID was longer. Um, where there's less showings, less homes coming on the market, more people traveling, less focus on real estate. It's kind of hot and miserable to be out looking at real estate anyway. Doesn't mean we can't do it, but it means we need to have a great strategy. So that's why in early to mid July, we're actually talking about back to school, which is really more early to mid August, because we want to get you prepared. Our clients, our friends, and our neighbors for what that has to do with the market. So if you want to sell your home now, the best time for you to talk to our team about selling is right now. It doesn't mean we need to go on the market right now, but you cannot start the process of preparing too early. Most people do wait too late. If you need to have your home sold, let's say before the fall, then you should be dialing right now. 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008, um, just to talk. 
not necessarily to get a sign in the yard or to be pressured into anything, but to begin that conversation right now so that a strategy can be custom built for you, your home, your area, your neighborhood around how can we use back to school as an advantage or how can we minimize the potential negative effect of back to school? We went way down the rabbit hole on that, but the reason we led the show out with that is because I have literally never heard another real estate agent talk on this. And we teach the, you know, the, the population through the radio show. And then we train real estate agents all over North America to factor this into their marketing so they can serve their clients at a high level. DP Lambert at Goosehead Insurance is who you need to talk to if you have not uh, shopped your home insurance, your auto insurance recently. DP can help with both of those, him and his team. DP.Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at Goosehead.com. That's his email. 214-838-5684 is how you can call him. Uh, he's saved me thousands over the years. We've told you that for a long, long time. He's saved Todd money. He's yep. saved so many of our team, family members, clients, friends, so much money over the years. dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Go to touchonmyteam.com where you can find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. Um, give me an idea right now of, of just kind of general market update. Like, do we feel as though we're ever going to see a quote normal market again? Or do we feel like we're going to live in just craziness? All so let me, and I'm going to give you, I've got some real numbers. That sh- I can give the you short to. answer is we're in the most normal real estate market we've been in a long time right now. Now, what does normal mean? Because the truth is all of us, buyers, sellers, real estate agents, brokers, mortgage lenders, title companies, all of us got really, really spoiled during a long, con- mostly consistent run up of property value, seller's market consistently. Um, now, luckily, as leaders in, in our market, in our industry, we're always looking out forward, trying to protect our team, of course, but as well, our coaching and consulting clients, our real estate agents who we coach and consult with all over the country to look out ahead of the current market and be prepared for changes and shifts and things like that. So we've been talking about how different the last 18 to 20 months have been. Um, and I wouldn't say we've been surprised by it at all, but we're, people are having to work differently, advocate for clients differently, protect clients differently. The real risk is an agent or a buyer or a seller that have not adjusted to this market. But this market is actually more normal, more logical than the markets we've been in. You know, the the ugliness of 2008 and 9, uh, 10 and 11 were a little bit more normal. And then kind of 2012 to 2021, 2 were abnormal. Um, this is normal. A really great house is going to sell really great. A buyer who's really, really prepared and patient can get a really good deal. But people that aren't prepared, that don't have strategy, that don't hire professionals, that don't really think critically and make an effort, they're having poor experiences. But that's normal. People that do things with excellence have excellent outcomes. People that are lazy have lazy outcomes. That's actually what's happening right now. You can, you, you'll can see sellers with terrible, decent, good, bad, and great outcomes right now. And you'll see buyers with the same full spectrum of outcomes based on their property, their effort, the, so the person that's leading them, their uh, their timetables. So this is actually a very normal market. And I think we will experience this market for the remainder of 2023. I think next year could actually show us some bigger opportunities and bigger risks. I think the political market's gonna heat up. You're gonna hear more and more promises about interest rates and economic policy and property taxes here in the Texas area. And it's going to create even more volatility. But with that may come bigger opportunities and bigger risks. So if you're asking me, should I wait to do something? I would say no. The market right now is actually pretty normal, pretty logical, pretty predictable. And there's opportunities on both sides to buy and sell or do both, which I'm actually currently doing myself. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're definitely still in a seller's market. Yep. You know, so no doubt about numbers it. that I can I can share if I just pick pick a couple of cities. So in Plano, for example, this is going to be the month's worth of inventory that we have. So if I look at the the four biggest kind of sections of price. Plano price points of Plano, yep. it's really between three hundred and seven hundred. Yep. 
So that's where we've got a hundred plus sales in the last six months. One month of inventory from three to four, one month of inventory from four to five, 1.4 months from five to six and 1.7 months from six to seven. Yeah. Anything under three is There's just not enough a of seller's it. market, yep. right? Now, if we look at somewhere like Frisco, their biggest sections are from 400 to 900. Yep. And there you've got uh, 0 0.7, 1.2, 1.7, 1 1.9, and 2. Like all of those. The most surprising let, number let in- Let me pause you for one second. Okay. Radio tease. The most surprising number coming up next. Here's the thing. All of these numbers might sound like gibberish to someone. If you look at the stock market and you look at like, how's the Dow doing today or how's the S&P doing today? You get that little one number and you're like, okay, it's up 40 points, it's down 100 and you have a feel for the whole market. This is that one number that you can look at in the real estate market and go, it's either the same exact number. People call it the months of inventory or the absorption rate. Basically, it's a single number that tells you how fast are people buying houses. That's what it's telling you. And what Ian is telling you is as crazy as the news is out there, people are buying houses very, 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 very fast. Now that doesn't necessarily mean days on market. What it means is as fast as people put them up on the market, they're selling in one month. They're selling in 1.2 months. They're selling in 1.3 months. A stable, boring, middle of the road market is four to six or five to seven months of inventory. Saying We're if no new houses came on the market, this is how much time we would have until we had no houses for sale. Until they were just gone. And in a normal stable market, you have four, four to six, five to seven months where buyers and sellers are giving and taking. You can sleep on a decision. You can go shop around. You have multiple options. Right now, you have very few options and the good ones are selling very, very fast with competition. The decent ones are selling decently fast with decent competition. And the ones that are kind of just okay or worse are struggling. That's normal. That actually makes sense. That's the market we're in. And if you were to look at Alito or Ben Brooks, similar markets on the Fort Worth side. Well, I'm gonna give you Fort Worth because that's very <laughs> different. Fort so, Worth's the city of Fort Worth. It is. And so, by the way, so is Dallas. So Ian's gonna give you the numbers, but let me give you a caution before he does. When you look at big cities like Fort Worth or Dallas, the numbers are more misleading because you have way more variety all being bundled up into one simple average number. So I look more at smaller markets like Benbrook or Alito or even Granberry and things like that, where you can go, I'm getting a more targeted average number. If we broke Fort Worth down into zip codes and neighborhoods, which we can, you would get uh, more reliable numbers. But this will give you a broad idea of what's happening over there. Fort Worth is always less, I say always, almost always a less intense uh, market. And so you typically have a little bit more inventory, not quite as price competitive. Now, I'm not saying anything negative about Fort Worth. We love Fort Worth. We have an office in West Fort Worth, but go ahead. So actually the most surprising number in Frisco, because I just don't think about it, was the number of homes that sold in the last six months, 1.4 million and above. Yeah. There was 88 of them. Yeah. And it's do that segment's doing better than a lot of the other segments. Yeah. It, yeah. Like way more, it, yeah, between like uh, 800, and 1.4 million plus. The 1.4 million plus is the most that homes have sold for. Yep. It was, I was just surprised. Yep. Fort Worth. So <clears throat> Fort Worth is, is in a lot of cases, a buyer's market. In certain price segments, yeah. Right? So if I start at three to, three to 400, there was 4.4 months worth of inventory. Which to me, real quick, is a stable market stable. leaning seller. Four to five, 5.1 months. Stable. Five to six, six months. Perfectly stable. Six to seven, 6.3. Stable leaning buyer. Seven to eight, 8.4. And everything from there on, on above is eight. Is yeah. Eight now let me explain that real months. quick. And I'm going to get angry emails from people in Fort Worth, but these are the facts. I love you all, but these are the facts. Fort Worth is a more affordable housing market. It's just take, take the average price point in Dallas, and as an average, remember averages are misleading, but as an average, Fort Worth is just a more affordable, the prices are lower. Most, most the, the three segments that homes sold the most was between 200 and 500. Yeah, I would have said two, With six. three to four <clears throat> being the primary one. Yep, which is true for Dallas 12 years ago, 10 years ago. So the point I'm making here is that shouldn't 
shock you if you keep your eye on the market. But the reality is this. Um, Fort Worth is a more stable market. Dallas is a more seller leaning market. But both of them are pretty logical right now. They actually make sense. You will be rewarded for preparation, hard work, uh, a nicer house, a better price, all those things. So the market actually makes sense. If you're thinking about buying and selling a home right now, you should be on the phone already. 214-310-0008. No charge whatsoever. One of our full-time, fully committed Tatramani home selling team agents will spend 60 to 90 minutes with you on a Zoom call or in our Fort Worth office or our Richardson office, helping answer all your questions, giving you clarity, helping you figure out when should we move, should we not move. We were talking to Jeremy in a meeting just today about two people he met with last week and his advice to them was you probably shouldn't sell. Just, you know, stay where you are and when the market conditions change a little bit, we'll talk again. How often do you have a real estate agent who gets paid a commission tell you not to move, right? So call us, we'll get you set up for 60 to 90 minutes, no charge, no commitment whatsoever, just to have a strategy session, just to talk through, answer your questions, help point you towards opportunities and protect you from some of the risks of the market. Find out what's best for you, your family, or your finances, and we can help you move forward. Whether it's today, tomorrow, a year from now, five years from now, we'll be here for you. 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremonteteam.com. If you've never Googled us, go ahead and do that. You can see over 700 reviews. You can see a bunch of the videos and posts that producer Courtney is making sure we have up there. Uh, and we want to be a resource to you, even if you're not buying, selling, or investing. If you're just enjoying your home and making sure that your home is a safe, secure, fun, enjoyable place to live the vast majority of your life, we are here for that. We are in on making home a wonderful place that you love to be. 214-310-0008 for any real estate needs. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Just call or text. We'll get you taken care of really quickly. Otherwise, online at toddtremonteteam.com. I do want to make a couple of quick notes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the push you made on the peanut butter and jelly drive. We don't have our final, final, final count yet because think dollars and peanut butter and jelly continue to trickle in. But the lobby of our office in Richardson is just stacked high with peanut butter and jelly. We'll get that delivered here in the next week. And the Venmo amounts that came in are still trickling in as well. So we'll get you some total numbers, but it's going to be a significant number of meals <clears throat> that we have been able together to provide to hungry North Texas kiddos, which is wonderful. Those kiddos are being fed right now from the food food pantries, but the food pantry shelves are thinner and thinner and thinner, and we're gonna help restock that, and we appreciate you. Also, those of you that grabbed a summer fun guide and were able to participate in our 4th of July coloring contest and take advantage of all of our 4th of July fireworks recommendations, way to go. If you have not grabbed a summer fun guide yet, you can still do that, there's still half or more of a summer of excitement and fun things, live music and all sorts of things in the guide. Go to toddtremonteteam.com, scroll down to the photo on the homepage of our team, all piled into a Jeep with Hawaiian shirts. Click that button, we'll get you a digital copy of the guide so you can enjoy the rest of your summer. Hey, if you don't uh, have your landscaping and your trees all completely dialed in, go online to keenlandscaping.com, they'll get you taken care of. And if you haven't had somebody on your roof in the last couple of years, pmrroofing.com. When we come back after the break, we're going to talk about where some unique opportunities are in the market as we finish up the summer market and roll into the fall market. Again, we always talk early so that you're prepared for the market. We'll talk about some real buying and selling opportunities as we head into the fall market when we come back right back. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, kind of a big deal on Instagram. I don't know if that's public news, but I think there's eight, maybe even nine people paying attention to my posts on Instagram, Full Price Courtney. As the uh, social media guru around here, I want to get you a live mic so we can let the people know of the glory. Um, you made a video this week on my we can, we can just be open with people. You made yeah. a video on my account uh, based on a joke that I actually thought was really, really funny. We may, be, we may be producing some more content around this idea soon, Ian, so you can join in on the Instagram glory. Um, the concept is that um, at current interest rates, there are buyers out there. I mean, we have, we're executing buyer contracts every couple of days right now. Um, but 
if rates were to come down half a point, we, we might see the number of buyers double. And if they came down another half point, what, what are we thinking might happen, Courtney? Just an influx. And then if they came down another half point? Just nuts. Like mayhem in the streets, right? Mayhem. So we, ha- we, we talk to a lot of people, radio listeners, friends, neighbors, internet, home searchers, all these things that are waiting for rates to come down. And look, I mean, I get it. It'll be nice if rates come down again. But if you're waiting to buy a house, if you're waiting for interest rates to come down to buy a house. You're going to pay. You're, you're waiting to compete. You're waiting for more and more and more buyers to fight over those homes with you. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't wait. There are some people that financially that's the responsible thing to do is to wait and then hope that the 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 big win that you pull off is rates come down and somehow, some way you're able to find a home that you don't have to compete wildly over. But there's a video on my Instagram account if people want to go try to find it. It's great. And the it's the the, the kind of the image we gave, Courtney created, was Right now, we may get one email a day with people inquiring about a house that we have on the market. Now, we're getting lots of inquiries other, other ways. But if rates come down half a point, that'll double. If rates come down another half a point, that'll like 10x. If rates came down back down to five and a half or five, I mean, it will be like Lollapalooza of real estate in the street. So if you're thinking man, I don't want to buy a house at a 7% interest rate, but I would, I would probably do it at five and a half. So are 4,000 other people, right? So that house that you want, that's currently 425, if interest rates come down a point and a half or two points, then you're going to have to compete with 25 offers on that. And that house at 425, maybe 480. So what do you prefer? a slightly higher mortgage payment or $60,000 more in purchase price plus interest rate payments for the rest of, you know, 15 years, 30 years, whatever. I'm not saying there is a universal right or wrong there, but there are a lot of people that actually could afford to buy that house right now, but they're thinking everything's rate. Lower rates are better. I don't want to be the guy that got stuck with this. I don't want to be the girl that wasn't smart about this. And so I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. But logic and every market I've participated in in 20 something years would tell you, logically speaking, Texas is still a really desirable place, desirable place to live. North Texas is an extremely desirable place to live. Lots of growth, lots of jobs, lots of land, lots of opportunity. And because of that, when rates come down, I say when, I mean, it's possible that they never will. And then you'll be really upset that you waited. But we we all think they will to some degree at some point. That doesn't tell you much, but some degree at some point. And if that happens, Courtney will be making more content about how we tried desperately to counsel people to look at the current interest rates as a short-term pain that will lead to long-term gain as a legitimate frustration, but also as an opportunity. And Ian, you're talking to people about this all the time, but people are really obsessive, really focused on rates, right? Yeah, for sure. Like it's a it's a real concern and worry for people because it affects what they can afford, how big a house they can get, you know, how new a house they can get. It affects so much. And and you're I know I mean we're we're talking about this on the team, but we're often telling people that it's wor- it's at least worthy of considering. Well the advice that I always give folks is let's just let's just get together with somebody on our team, with one of our specialists on our team, and let's just look. Let's just take a look at what's out there. Mm-hmm. And if after looking, we decide it's just not the right thing, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna all agree to that. It's not the right thing. We tell people all the time, our agents tell people all the time, hey, let's, let's talk again in 90 days. Yeah. Hey, you guys may be a couple of years out. We, we're gonna tell you the right thing because we're gonna be here in 90 days or two years out. We'd love to earn your trust and help your family sleep better at night and build wealth and enjoy life. Real estate is not the only thing in life. It's an important part, but it is obviously not the most important thing. So we wanna help you get that right so you can focus on the more important things, your family, your career, your health, your dreams, your goals, the impact your life can have. So the point we keep trying to get across, but it just seems like an uphill battle because people are so ingrained that interest rate is so important and that they would be making a mistake or failing their family if they were to have a 7% rate or a seven and a quarter rate or 6.75 rate. 
And the reality is that's only one factor of buying, and it's only one factor that impacts sellers also. And we're trying to give you a lot of data today, maybe too much for some people. But the summary of the data we're giving you today is that it's still a very, very good time to sell, and there are real buyer opportunities out there, even though the headlines tell you it's a bad time to buy. That often is a good time to buy. When everyone else is saying it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, sneak in, find the right opportunity, be patient, be smart, be prepared, have a great leader help you through that, but be the one that used the idea of rates are bad as sort of a cover fire to get in and get locked into a good deal. And then if rates come down, you win big on all sides. If they don't, you've owned a home for a couple of years before you found that out. If they do, you can refi later. Um, and you got to participate in the market, which is actually really healthy right now. So man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Um, we're seeing people wait and all logic and all historical evidence would say they're waiting to, to get beat up, but in a different way. They'll get the low rate if it comes down, but they'll have to compete with a ton, a ton of people. And I would argue that's the more powerful, more impactful lever is the actual purchase price. This first segment was brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his entire team at Cardinal Financial. If you are looking to get a mortgage, if you're looking to refinance, uh, to buy a home, maybe you're looking to buy a secondary home, a vacation home, a rental property, patrickgleros.com is where you can go and start the application right there. You can give him a call at 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804, it's patrickgleros.com. And again, you can go to todtramoneyteam.com click the radio tab and you can find all recommended pros and vendors. I'm going to say something right here that I'm 95% sure Patrick's okay that I share publicly, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Glad it's 95. I probably should have confirmed higher, but Patrick is also in the middle of a big real estate transaction with a mortgage right now. So did, I, did he use himself? He did. Okay. I am in the middle of one. He is in the middle of one. So if you're looking to experts and you're looking to people that I, you know, I, I think I have a pretty good track record here and I certainly trust Patrick. Both of us are saying, look, I'm involved in a sizable deal that I would love, love to have a lower rate on. But I would rather do that deal now with current rates than wait till later where I might be able to get a lower rate, but other market conditions will likely be less attractive for me. And also I will have had to wait. So the transaction I'm involved in and the one he's involved in will provide multiple different types of value, family enjoyment, income opportunities, all those kind of things. Um, and we have both evaluated that the current interest rate market has some real advantages to us. We both rather than be lower, but we are using them as opportunities right now. And I think you should at least, like Ian said, at least have the conversation. And you can have that conversation by going to toddtramaniteam.com, contacting us in whatever way is most comfortable for you. And if all else fails, you should have this phone number saved in your cell phone, 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008. All right. In the Todd's dad files this week, he sends me a picture. They live down in the woodlands. He sends me a picture of a hole in his roof and a, a dude you know, like harnessed to a tree, uh, the heavy, 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 heavy winds that came through two, three weeks ago. We got a little bit of it, but it swept through Houston. Uh, they had a big deal. So I spend the next 35 minutes on the phone telling them, man, this is what you do in a situation like that. Don't call your insurance guy first, call a trusted local roofer that you can trust. He's like, I don't know a local roofer I can trust. I'm like, shoot. All right, let me call some people. Let's find one. We're not just calling the phone book. We're calling a roofer that you can trust. And then they can help us uh, make sure we handle the insurance piece right. So that's what we did and it all worked out for him. If he had been here, you know what I would have said. Just call PMR Roofing, call Jordan Collins, do what I do. Go to PMRRoofing.com. If you want to call 469-409-ROOF. But at the end of the day, you need to get to PMR Roofing and Jordan Collins and he's gonna take really good care of you. So I'm saying the same thing to our friends and neighbors here in DFW. We've had a lot of wind, we've had hail, We've had heavy rain and we've had extreme heat. All of those things are reasons that if you don't know the condition of your roof, if you haven't had somebody up there in the last couple of years, and if you've had any of these storms happen and you're not sure, don't risk that becoming a major problem and affecting, affecting the inside of your house. Get somebody up there. And I think it should be 
PMR Roofing. You can trust them. They'll look you in the eye and do the right thing. They won't sell you anything you don't need. And if you do need it, they'll do it right. They just did mine. PMRRoofing.com. Ask for Jordan Collins. PMRRoofing.com. Courtney, it's time for your favorite segment. Oh, I'm ready. There we go. Todd, are you ready? Probably not, but let's do it anyway. He's All right. Here we go. It's the Cockney rhyming slang word of the week. We need to get some music for this, Courtney, or something. Okay. Some, some sort of intro. Okay. <laughs> treacle tart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Treacle tart? Treacle tart. Treacle tart. It's a type of dessert in England. Treacle tart. Something about my heart. Use it in a sentence, please. Treacle tart. All right, treacle. All right, treacle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sweetheart! You got it! <laughs> Well done. I didn't oh, think you were going to get good. that. I've been off a few weeks and Todd's you needed really... That, you needed that win. Gosh. I didn't think you were going to get that yeah, this week. Fun. I thought that was a hard yeah. one. Listen, uh, the crowd loves it. Lil John loves it. Yeah. Well done. Sweetheart. Treacle tart. That's, that almost rhymes and makes sense. Good job, Cockney. Yeah. I use treacle. Co- Cockney people. Yeah. Sign of endearment. If you say so. All right, folks, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, I hope by now you know that we are committed to being a resource for you. Whether whether there's a sale happening right now and we could be your agent or broker, of course, we'd love to earn your business at some point when that's right. But even if now's not the time for that and you just need someone to be a resource for you, we want to do that. We want to add value in your life no matter what, where you are or what you're doing. Go to ToddTremonteTeam.com or call 214-310-0008. We guarantee to sell your house over the average price and under the average time, period. Guaranteed. Any home in any market, when we choose to work with you and you choose to work with us, we guarantee that. Also, on the buyer side, we guarantee we'll save you at least $5,000 throughout the purchase process. Could be purchase price, could be fees, could be repairs. And these are these are kind of basic minimum guarantees. We have world-class people working full-time only at real estate, fully committed to making sure that your life is better. Not just your house, not just your bank balance, but that your life is improved by the decisions you make around your real estate. We believe that the house, the home, is so much more than bricks and sticks and bedrooms and bathrooms. It's where marriages are nurtured and children are educated and encouraged and developed. It's where you find rest. It's where you celebrate. It's where you escape. It's where you entertain. We want everyone to be able to enjoy home in an incredible way. If we can help you in any way, and I know that we can, don't wait until the last minute. Call us early. Start that process. We can start to get you information, point you in the direction of wise choices, help you get clarity around what you want to do, what you have to do, when you should do it. All that starts online at ToddTremonteTeam.com or save this phone number in your cell phone. Call or text us 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. A great title company is not only really hard to find, it's really, really important uh, throughout the course of the transaction to bring peace of mind, to bring quality to the transaction, to make things go really smoothly um, from the beginning to end. Republic Title are a great title company. They do so much for our clients. They're so well ran. They are just fantastic. You need to uh, go to republictitle.com. You can find more information on everything that they offer right there on their website. 972-423-8777 is their phone number, republictitle.com. Let's talk about uh, the book really quickly. Um, The sixth truth, we've been making our way through this, the five lies that will ruin your real estate career and the truth that can make you wealthy. Uh, The sixth truth, last week we talked about um, go niche or Mm -hmm. stay niche. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This week, obey the law maintain the standards and be proud to do the right thing. Explain that. Well, first of all, it sounds very boring. Obey the law, maintain the standards, do the right thing, and that can make you wealthy? The answer is yes. There's like this angry, bitter myth oftentimes around wealthy people or successful people that they got there through dishonest gain or through cheating. That's just not been my personal experience. I'm I'm not saying I've never seen shady people, I have. But the vast majority of successful people financially and otherwise, I have found to be quality citizens, contributors. They obey the law. 
They follow the standards. They do the right thing. They're actually looking to impact the world in a big way. And I think most of what's brought them large scale success is their um, ambition. They're, they're, they're aiming for big things. They're going big. But what the point of that chapter or that section of the book is you can't have some like feed all the hungry kids on the planet dream and take shortcuts with the law the rules, the standards, the ethical standards. Um, something super simple like rounding the corner or overlooking the rules can take out a massive opportunity for impact to change the world in a better way. And in our business in real estate, sadly, most of the time when people do that, it's by it's due to lack of education or laziness. They're not full-time, they're not committed, they're not an expert. I don't run into just tons of like horribly misleading shady dirt bags out there. There's there are some, but most of the time it's a lack of commitment. It's not you're not full time. You're not fully dedicated. You're not working on learning and growing and being educated all the time. So this book is written for real estate agents, but we share nuggets on the show from time to time. A, because we are looking to add new agents and B, we want to serve not just buyers and sellers in the community, but even agents within our community. And then thirdly, there are principles from this book that can be taken into any other career and any other life situation. But if you're tempted now or ever uh, to attain success or impact by shortcutting the law, standards, ethical rules, don't do it. It just doesn't work. It also isn't worth it. You have to decide who you want to be, not just what you want to achieve. And I would strongly advise that you work towards being someone who does the right thing, that thinks about others, that follows the rules. Um, this idea that uh, the, the the path to success or entrepreneurial success is like cutting corners or the rules don't apply to me or how do we stretch the rules is kind of a you know cool person sounding thing, but it's just not the way that truly successful people operate. They find the boundaries within to ethically and honestly play and then they use their gifts and the gifts of others collectively to go and, and creatively add value in the world. I want to do a question and I'm going to, we're going to do the, the big butt segment. Okay. okay. So the question that I really want to cover is what does an agent actually do for me? And I want to phrase it by saying I could sell it myself. I could buy a, get a cheap agent to go and do it. Mm -hmm. I could just play, pay a flat fee or I could do a, you know, a big, you know, one of those companies that will do it and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I mean, you could do your nephew a favor and let them sell your house for you, but it's a big stinking deal. And so you don't do that with your CPA, your attorney, your doctor, and you shouldn't do that with hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of real estate assets and the literal physical environment where you protect yourself and others and family and friends. So the idea that you have a thousand options out there, but most of them are not wise for you, that there are cheap agents out there, but that's not normally where value comes from, that you do have a nephew that just got his real estate license, but he's certainly not an expert yet, um, are all worthy of the big butt segment today. What I would encourage people to do, whether it's our team or someone else, is you have got to find someone that does this all day, every day at a very, very high level and is fun and enjoyable to be around and easy to trust, to lead and guide you through that process. Just like you would estate planning, just like you would retirement savings, business structuring, uh, a severe significant medical condition. Find someone that really knows what they're doing, that will care for you and also be an expert and lead you and guide you through that. Obviously we would learn, we would love to earn your business. If you're the right fit for us and we're the right fit for you, be careful and be wary of any agent that says they can do everything for everyone. That's just not possible. Um, but even if we're not the right fit for you, I would point you towards someone who has a track record, who's full-time, fully committed and dedicated and really wants to deliver value to you beyond the words and the numbers that are on a contract. That's really, really important. Um, Keen Landscaping can help you get your uh, your grass taken care of, your landscape lighting, your trees, your retaining walls, your swimming pools, walkways, all that stuff. Find them online at keenlandscaping.com. K-E-A-N-E, -E, keenlandscaping.com. If you've not checked your home valuation recently, go to our website, go to touchonmyteam.com, click the home valuation tab, 
And right there, in less than a minute, you'll be able to get an idea of what your home would sell for, what your home would rent for. You can get some ideas about what cash offers might look like, what your equity is. It's going to give you a ton of information all in less than one minute. Go to valuethishouse.com or go to toddtramoneyteam.com and click the home valuation tab. And I would challenge everyone listening right now. If you're at a desk, in your home, uh, at a stoplight or whatever, if you have the opportunity to safely do that, just do that. And then let the wheels turn in your head. If I could get $720,000 for my house, what might I do next? If I could use current interest rates as an opportunity to upsize, downsize, get more land, get on the water, get out of town, get into town, what could you potentially achieve that would make your life better with your real estate? I'm not saying to do it. I'm saying to consider it. I'm saying to go use this tool, touchmoneyteam.com, click home valuations, and then just see what potentially you could do. Not because I'm trying to get you to do something, because I want you to know either really firmly that you're really happy where you are, or what are your options to potentially improve your life with a big piece of your life, meaning your home. So I want you to check that out. Go to toddtramoneyteam.com, click home valuation. Thank you so much for your peanut butter and jelly drive contributions. If you don't have a summer fun guide yet, peanut butter and jelly drive was just one of the pieces in there. There's 28 pages of amazing stuff to have the very best summer you've ever had in DFW. Go to toddtramonteteam.com, find the photo of our team with all the Hawaiian shirts, us hanging out in the Jeep. Click that. We'll get you a free copy of the summer fun guide, completely free. Uh, there's, I don't think we have any physical copies left. If we do, there's just a handful. But we can get you a digital copy and you can continue to enjoy the rest of your summer, find the best ice cream, find the best burgers, find ways to give back and contribute, model that for your children, your neighbors, your friends, your family, as well as if you do have any real estate needs, there's almost no real estate in the guide, but you can contact our team, 214-310-0008. Consider that now is an incredible time to get ahead in real estate while almost everybody else are sitting on the sidelines. I'll say that one more time. Consider that now is an incredible time for you to get ahead in your home or your wealth building through real estate while almost everybody else is sitting on the sidelines. Check us out, toddtramonteteam.com. Call or text 214-310-0008. We'll be back next week right here, same time, same place with DFW Real Estate. Check out the podcast. <laughs>